Hi, how are you? You are once more welcome to this lecture's room. I have a topic we want to deal with here, which we have a question under that topic. The topic is equation equal to zero and undefined equation. I want to quickly run through it for your understanding. We have a full lecture in our other class. Now, for equation equal to zero, equal zero, for it to be equal to zero, the numerator will be equal to zero. So this is the numerator, this is the denominator. In that sense, we are going to have zero over denominator value. So it is the numerator value you are going to equate to be equal to zero. Simplify it, then find the answer and provide it as a answer for the equation. Now, for undefined equation, for undefined equation of fraction equal to zero, it is the denominator that will be equal to zero, which you are going to have x over zero. So it means that you are going to simplify the value of the denominator, make it to be equal to zero, then you simplify it accordingly and provide the answer which will make that particular value undefined. Now, I am now move to this question we have here now. This question says, find the value of x for which the fraction 2x plus 3, all in bracket is of 2, all over 2x squared plus 13x plus 15 is undefined. I'm going to write this question and make it to be equal to 0 according to the what we have gotten initially now, what I've told you. So we are going to have 2x squared plus 13x plus 15 equal to 0. If you have a kind of information like this, it means that it, you have equated this particular value to be equal to 0 here. So everything there you see to be equal to 0, then you simplify it. Mainly looking at this uh, particular equation here now, you agree with me that it is a quadratic equation because the highest power on the variable x a is 2. So we have different methods of solving quadratic equation, factorization method, Complete the square method, or we can make use of the so called formula method to solve the quadratic equation. Here, yeah. we are going to make use of a factorization method to solve this quadratic equation. Now, I want to make use of factorization method. So, in factor making use of factorization method, the first thing I'll do here is to multiply this constant value here by this x squared value. So, we are going to have 15 multiplied by. 2x squared, which is going to be equal to 30x squared. Now, after I have done that, I will now try to look for two values that by the time I multiply those two values together, I will get 30x squared. And by the time I add the two values together, I will get 13x, the middle value again, the x value. Now, what are those values that we can multiply to get 30? Okay, what if I think about 5 times 6? 5 times 6 is 30, but 5 plus 6 cannot be up to 13. Even 5 minus it cannot be up to 13, so we have to ignore that. What about if I think about 10 times 3? 10 times 3 is 30. 10 plus 3 is 13. Oh, very good value to make use of. Now, what about if I say 15 times 2? 15 multiplied by 2 is 30, obviously. But 15 minus 2 will be equal to 13. So definitely, if I want to do the multiplication, I have to have a particular value, that particular 3, to be a negative value, which is going to affect my positive sign here. So I cannot make use of 15 times uh, 2. So I will use 10 times 3 now. So I'm going to have 10x multiplied by 3x is equal to 30x squared. So I've satisfied this one. 10x plus 3x is equal to 13x. So I've also satisfied this value here now. So I can now insert this value here into the position of this 13x. I'm going to have 2x squared plus 10x plus 3x plus 15 equal to zero so after i have done this now 
I will divide this particular set of information into two parts. I'm going to have it this way. Now, this part now, what is the common value between these two terms here now? It is 2 is common to this, 2 is common to this. x is common to this, x is common to this. So I can now have it as 2x, open the bracket for it, then I'll divide each of this value by 2x. 2x squared divided by 2x, that'll be x. Plus 10x divided by 2x, that'll be plus 5. Then I look at this value here again. We are having 3x and 15. What is common to them? Not the two of them. The two of them are not having uh, x. So 3 can go here. 3 can go here. I can have plus 3 into bracket. 3x over plus 3. That will be equal to x. Plus 15 divided by plus 3. That will be equal to plus 5 equal to zero now in solving using factorization method when you get to this stage you have to take note of something that the first value in this bracket here must be equal to the same the other one in the other bracket here if it's not it's the equal value if they are not equal to one another it means that what you are working towards is wrong so you have to quickly check your workings now let's go ahead now, at this stage now, you take those values that are not inside the bracket, put it in one bracket, and put one of the values inside the bracket in another bracket, then you simplify further. We are going to have 2x plus 3, then x plus 5 equal to 0. So what this one is trying to tell us is that, is that 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, or x plus 5 is equal to, you are having 2x plus 3 equal to 0, or x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, solving this one now, I'm going to have 2x will be equal to minus 3 because it's so chrome here, become minus 3. Then at this stage, I divide both sides by 2. 2x over 2 is equal to minus 3 over 2. I call this, I call it. I have x is equal to minus 3 over 2. Or, x x plus 5 is equal to 0 so x will be equal to minus 5 now at this stage now we have been able to get the value for the uh, value of x now which we are able to get to uh, value if you insert each of this value into this position wherever you have x in this denominator value here if the equation is equal to 0 if you insert it and you add everything together if it results into it equal to be equal to zero, it means that that particular value can satisfy this fraction to be undefined. Now, after we have checked it, we see that it is minus five that you put in that will make this value to be undefined. So let's check it. We have two into bracket minus five squared plus thirteen into bracket minus five plus 15 is equal to 0 so I don't know let's, uh, let's work it out this so to be equal to 0 2 times minus 5 raised to the power 2 that was 25 that was minus 5 times minus 5 is 25 into bracket 2 plus 13 times minus 5 that is going to be equal to minus 5 times 3 is 15 5 times 1 that's 65 minus 65 plus 15 is equal to 0 so we are having this one to be 2 times 25, that's 50. 50. 50. Then we have a plus, uh, minus 65 plus 15. If you have, uh, you, have in, you have you have to bring the positive one to this side to, to get a 50 plus 15 minus 65. 50 plus 15 is 65 minus 65, which is equal to 0. So, this particular value here has satisfied this equation to be undefined. So the value that make it to be undefined is x is equal to minus 5. If you pull this one there, you will not get that value. You have to check it. So you can check it on your own as well. So we thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to the channel so that you'll be able to have 
more uh, videos on different solve the question on mathematics and different classes that we have taken. We have lectures on the whole topic. You can as well get them there. So thank you and God bless.